the I, I know that I mean Waterford Toronto we, we put in some fields here um, and I'm not sure whether the city's looking at anything else they obviously looked, they were looking at one point at the uh, at an ice rink they may still be looking at an ice rink somewhere in, in this general neighborhood uh, beyond that I'm not to aware that they're you know until we resolve this they're planning any kind of parks or um, or sports facilities I think that's gonna you know it ultimately will excuse me will come out of the work we're doing but I, I don't know where the best place to put them would be. I think it's really premature to, is to kind of even crystal ball that. Would it be would they would you be open to the fact of having them? Oh I I think absolutely and I think you know the the, the plan um, the original plan provided for sports fields and the new plan will provide for sports fields. I, I don't know where exactly those will be or, or what form they will take, but they're, you know, they're, those those uses are, are absolutely you know, planned for and required, um, ultimately. So I, I, I don't know where and I don't know when, so that's all I can tell you today. The reason I ask is I can't walk down this street street where people are saying, well, and, and they're not, they're, they're not in conflict with when would you think it would they could put in two rugby fields in here? Oh my goodness, well where do you want what, them? What exactly? would it be like in 2020 or 2015? Can rugby players play on uh, on soccer fields? If, if, well, if, can they? I'm asking a question. Yes, Seriously, they can, but can you have, yes, they can, but you have to realign the fields. What do you have to do to them? Can they be convertible? Can you convert them back and forth? Yeah, you can convert them back and forth. Okay, because we just built like these really beautiful FIFA soccer pitches. Yes, they're all all the, they're used up at all. Every so per, is they're it all permanent. Is they're it about all building permanent. or or programming? Because maybe we could program you in. It's like there's a no, no, we can't. Uh, no, no, no. no uh, I spoke. With them. They, they're they're trying. And they, they're not. In, they're 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 not interested. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rugby's a growing field. I know it's huge in the Maritimes. Yes. Now, I'm going to be responsible for the promotion of the Irish Canada game in 2013 at BMO in the Philadelphia. Uh, in June of 2013. Oh, cool is that? You know, I'm very involved in all things Irish because I am on the board of the Enoch Turner School Post. Do you know that place? Um, Do you know Enoch Turner? No, I don't. <laughs> well, you should. Oh, as I said, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. He's, he's uh, where is this here? He's, uh, it's, it's right in here, up on Trinity Street. So, no. uh, so but this year we're going to be playing. No, but what I want to tell you about is it, is it, it's a, that's, you should advertise about what you're doing at Trinity okay. Church, because, and Trinity, e Enoch Turner Schoolhouse okay, you is write the that center down. of all things Irish. Okay. And they have Irish walks, and Enoch Turner was Irish, and he was the first, he brought the first free school to Toronto. He was the man when the city would not put the money down. He took his own money that he made from brewing and set up the first free school for children of Toronto. It was a, it's a place that children could go to school for free. It's the first time it's ever happened in Toronto. It was started by Enoch Turner because the city promised to build the school and they never carried through and he pulled up the flag. I'm done. Okay. So. So you could promote your anything Irish here. I can the center of Irish, all things Irish. My concern is when there, this begins to be developed that there's a conflict between established fields and the new development of people. So I'm saying... You want to take your claim to the rugby fields. I want to say in Lake Ontario Park is where you want to go. You should write to us at Waterfront Toronto and say, we would like rugby fields in Lake Ontario Park. Okay then, if you write that...